Hey everyone, it's Tara. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a bit of a different video. This time I'm going to be taking you guys along as I reorganize my bookshelf behind me. Um, I kind of wanted to change it up a bit. Also, I got like a, um, a cart that's over to the side here that I kind of want to organize as well um, that I've had for a while now, but I haven't had a chance to like organize it the way I want to. So you guys are going to come along with me as I do that. So I was going to show you like a before. So there's the very top of my shelf has come up kind of my favorite books or like really pretty ones with really pretty covers. And then the next shelf down, I have all my historical romances and a cup with my bookmarks. And then the other shelf that you guys primarily see on video is like the start of my rainbow shelves. And that's like my red and oranges and greens. And then I have a couple decorative pieces. And then as we go down, I have like the blue and the purple. And then um, House in the Cerulean Sea is out front because I love that book. And then as we go further down, as you can see, I have double stack shelves. These are mainly like my book of the month, hard covers, and then just stuff that I've kind of just shoved in there as I got it. And then if you see over here, this is kind of my cart and it doesn't really have any rhyme or reason except for the top shelf does have like what I'm currently reading for that month or what I've already read for like my um, booktube wrap ups. And then you can see there's my bags and I have a little thing in the corner right here. It's like a um, basket and that basket is just books that are leaving my shelves. And I did leave, uh, do a little short and I'll link that in the cards below. <laughs> So I have a couple of mass market paperbacks that are not historical romances, but I keep them with the historical romances because they're the same size. Ugh. All these books I've wanted to read. Get it together. So here's the after of the bookshelves, right here. Those are still my historical romances. Um, I just grouped them into um, like author. So if I had more than one author, I put them together. And yeah, that's all I really changed up there. Because I'm only working with one shelf and then a cart, there wasn't a lot of change. It was more just organizing for me. Um, to put it in some sort of order that I felt was working for me. The second shelf right here, um, it does have the same decorations on there. And then I believe I changed it a slightly. So I think I put the yellow first and then the orange and then going into the red or the pink into the red. And then um, it follows down onto this shelf right here where you see the house in the cerulean sea and that one just goes a little bit into like purple and then green and then blue so it's kind of just like a, a rainbow i just re kind of reversed the rainbow that i had like um in the beginning if you can see those shelves right here are still double stacked i just organized them um so in the back i have the shorter hardcovers and then just a few of 
um, like paperbacks put together and they're all like kind of the darker, like the dark blues, the dark purples, the blacks, the uh, grays, those colors, because they didn't obviously fit into the rainbow, I'm trying to make up at the top. And then if you see down here, I'm going to show you right there. Um, that is still double stacked, but I did the book of the months in order of um when i got them so i have the rest of the few i only have a few hard covers that are non book of the month and then you can see my little cart now it is much more organized um the top part is still going to be what i have finished reading or what i'm going to currently read so that might be part of a video the second shelf now is part of like my 52 book club or any sort of reading challenge that I'm a part of and then just a couple of extra like they're kind of like uh, tan colored books that just didn't really fit anywhere so I put them there and then the very bottom shelf is just kind of like my book journal my YouTube notebook um, my new YouTube equipment so that's kind of what I did for now um, and then when I can buy books again I will figure out more room <laughs> So that's it.